In this segment, we will briefly examine the configuration elements available under the networking menu. From the main NetCloud Manager screen, select the Devices or Groups menu. Check the item you wish to configure, select the Configuration menu, and then Edit. Click on Networking. Then click on Local Networks. Under the Local Networks menu, there are options for configuring Wi Fi radios, local IP networks, DHCP settings, enabling hotspot services, and other common tasks. For devices with Wi Fi radios, each physical radio is represented and can be configured independently. Each radio supports one or more Wi Fi SSIDs. Each SSID can be configured with options specific to that Wi Fi network. To best protect your wireless network from hackers and unauthorized users, it is highly recommended you choose WPA2 Personal or WPA Enterprise Security Mode if supported by the client devices. The configuration elements under the Wi-Fi settings section are global for a specific radio, and the default settings are optimized to work well for most environments. LAN settings are configured under the Local IP Networks tab. By default, Cradle Point routers are configured with an active primary LAN and a guest LAN that is disabled. Local IP networks can be added or removed as needed. Cradle Point routers support hotspot services on a single local IP network. The hotspot services feature is typically used by businesses to provide a public Wi Fi hotspot. Cradle Point's hotspot services provides an easy way to set up a simple captive portal where connected clients must accept terms of service before they can access the Internet. Hotspot services can also integrate with third-party authentication services for more advanced features. The DHCP server menu is used to specify DHCP reservations. DHCP reservations are used to map a client device MAC address to a specific IP address. When directly connected to the local router UI, the DHCP Server tab also shows a list of all active leases issued by the router. The VLAN Interfaces menu is used to add or remove VLANs from the router, to assign physical ports to the VLAN, and to control VLAN tagging. Be cautious as you edit or remove VLANs, as you may inadvertently disrupt your connection with the router. The Tunnels menu is used to establish VPN tunnels to a remote router or firewall. Cradlepoint routers support common VPN protocols such as IPsec, OpenVPN, and GRE, among others. The routing menu configures how the router moves IP traffic to other networks. QoS settings control how IP traffic is prioritized. The default, Auto QoS, will prioritize interactive traffic automatically and works well for most use cases, including voice and video. The DNS Servers menu controls DNS settings for the entire router. DNS servers can be manually specified or obtained automatically from the connected WAN source. Wi-Fi as WAN enables a cradle point router to connect to an existing Wi-Fi network for WAN connectivity. Wi-Fi as WAN mode shares the radio and by default will allow wireless clients to connect to the router while the WAN connection is active. The Inhibit Wi-Fi AP checkbox is used to block wireless clients from connecting when the WAN connection is active, improving WAN performance. WAN Affinity binds specific outgoing traffic to one or more WAN interfaces. The rules provide a definition for which traffic will be directed to a specific set of WAN interfaces. Once the traffic is initially matched, it will maintain affinity with the selected WAN interface for the duration of connection.